Why does Byheart keep saying that no unopened containers of formula have tested positive for botulism? What does the FDA think about this? Let's talk about it. My name is Alex Sunderman. I'm an infectious disease epidemiologist and I study outbreaks. Byheart is trying to hedge that their formula is not the cause of this outbreak, but let's look at a past example where the FDA chimed in about this exact issue. In July, investigators from the UK CDC equivalent published a case report entitled Peanut Butter Confirmed as the Source in a Case of Infant Botulism. Note the word confirmed there. In this case report, they describe an infant who developed botulism and it took them over 234 days for this infant to fully recover. The investigators looked for sources of botulism in this case report and they found botulism in an opened container of peanut butter. That peanut butter had been fed to the infant and they did DNA fingerprinting on the botulism and it was a direct match to the infant's botulism, implicating it as a potential source of the infection. The US FDA did not agree with these findings though and in academia you can submit a letter to the editor to express your disagreement. The FDA essentially said the UK agency should hot have used the word confirmed. They said that given the peanut butter had already been opened, there could have been something in the household that contaminated the peanut butter and actually saying that the peanut butter was not the true source of infection. But the UK agency had a response to the FDA, which just published last month. They argued back a few key things. First, the type of peanut butter container was a squeeze bottle. So they're arguing that retrograde contamination of the peanut butter was very unlikely given that the mother was also the only one handling the peanut butter. Lastly, they consider both the clinical and epidemiological evidence together, saying that the timeline of the infant's botulism infection from when they were fed the peanut butter strongly supports with the DNA fingerprinting evidence that the peanut butter was the ultimate cause of infection. Why does this matter for the ongoing botulism outbreak? Well, Byheart is taking an offensive stance essentially to prevent lawsuits claiming that they did not cause this as an outbreak and they're not the source of the outbreak, but the CDC has already presented telling epidemiological evidence where a large proportion of the infants who are sick use Byheart formula and Byheart only owns 1% of the infant formula market. That type of data is what the UK agency was essentially saying. You have to consider both the genetic and the clinical and epidemiological evidence together. So we we don't yet have DNA fingerprinting on these infections and on the sources of the botulism recovered from formula, and these are some of the next steps that we can suspect. The FDA is currently testing unopened containers of Byheart formula, and they're doing plant inspections. And depending on what they find there and what the DNA genetic evidence shows, they'll be able to make a better conclusion about what is the source of this outbreak.